Hi everyone, we're sure that by now most of you have heard all about the coronavirus. But instead of panicking about it, there are a few things that you can do to protect yourself. First, let's talk a little bit about what it is. So the coronavirus or the COVID-19 is a flu-like virus that first started out in Wuhan, China and was recently declared a pandemic and as of now, there is no cure for it. As of the second week of March, there have been around 170,000 cases. Of this number, 77,000 have recovered and been discharged, but there have also been around 6,000 deaths. So that means that 80,000 people still test positive for it and have not recovered completely. Countries that have been hit worst by it right now are China, Italy, South Korea and Iran. Within India, there have been about 114 recorded cases, of which 13 people have recovered and there have been two deaths. The remaining people still test positive for it. People who might be more affected by it are the elderly or people with health issues like diabetes, heart conditions or respiratory conditions. And of course, people who have travelled to countries that have a high rate of coronavirus infections are also at quite a high risk as well. Luckily, the one piece of good news is that there are very few cases of coronavirus within children, so it doesn't seem to be affecting them too badly. Symptoms can start out quite mild, like a runny nose, a sore throat, a dry cough or fever, but it can escalate to breathlessness and pneumonia as well. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms and you've traveled to a country that's been affected by the coronavirus or you've been in contact with someone who's traveled to one of them, make sure to get tested and make sure to call the hospital in advance so that they know that you're coming. For now, here are a few things that you can do to stay safe and healthy. The most important thing that you can do is to wash your hands frequently. You should wash them before preparing food, before and after eating, before and after using the toilet and especially if you're someone who takes public transport. You can count to 20 while washing to make sure that you're doing it right. Wash your palms, the back of each hand, in between each finger, wash each finger as well. Wash under your nails and up to your wrists as well. Avoiding large public gatherings and crowded rooms is key at a time like this. Remember not to touch your face at all, especially not your nose, eyes or mouth. Try not to hug people or even shake hands at a time like this. It's better to stick to a namaste or a verbal greeting. Keep a distance of at least 1 meter or 3 feet away from someone who's coughing or sick to make sure that the germs don't spread and enter your system. Cough and sneeze with others in mind. Make sure to cough into a tissue and cover your entire nose and mouth while coughing and then throw the tissue out immediately. If you don't have easy access to a tissue, then make sure to cough into your elbow or your shoulder instead. Take vitamin C tablets or zinc supplements to boost your immune system and keep you safe. Finally, keep healthy in general by drinking enough water, eating healthy food and getting plenty of sleep. It's really important not to panic at a time like this. So remember to stay calm, follow these tips and then share them with some friends and family as well to stay healthy and happy. Until next time, stay tuned and stay glamorous.